hope you're all well. Today I am going to be talking about finding my independence through separation. I feel like it's a bit of a random one, but you may not know, because a few people have commented on my video saying like, oh, I didn't know that she was going through a separation because I haven't really spoken about it on here. I've just kind of mentioned in like, I think my cleaning video, I said, you know, since being a single mama, I talk about it a lot on my Instagram, just in pictures and Insta stories and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to kind of keep up with like a day to day of how I'm feeling, because I'm pretty emotional about everything, then make sure that you follow me over there. Uh, to be honest, I don't really talk about it kind of specifically because obviously it's a huge thing. It's something that I'm going through at the moment. I don't know what the outcome's going to be. I mean, I'm hopeful that I don't know what the outcome's going to be, but I'm pretty certain that I do know. And obviously it's not just about me. It's about me and it's about Pete and it's about our children and our families. And you know, there's so much involved. So it's not something that I'm just going to sit down and, you know, he did this and I did this and all of that, because that's not, it's not fair on anyone. I have done one video. I did like a chatty update video on just how all of us are doing. And I did kind of talk about it a bit there. Again, not specifics, not about anything in particular that's happened but I just got so emotional and I kept having to stop to cry and then carry on and then I didn't want to edit it because I didn't want to have to watch it back and then things had changed so much since then then time just got on um, I'm sure in the future I will do videos because I want to be able to help other people going through this and I already get so many messages on Instagram from people who are going through similar you know even if I just insta storied saying like I don't know I'm finding it really hard because the boys are at the dad's house and I really miss them and this is really crap or you know, it's the middle of the night and I've run out of milk and I've got no one to go and get milk for me or to stay here while I go and get milk and just stuff that I found quite difficult. You know, so not really particularly giving any advice, but I've had people message me then to say, you know, thank you so much because you're making me realise that it is normal and I'm not the only one going through this. And basically, I'm waffling. Me and Pete are separated and I'm not going to be talking about the separation in this video, but I want to bring positives out of it so that I can help people because... I share everything with you guys and you guys help me through so much and I just want to be able to help. If there's something that I can take out of this that's a positive, it will be helping other people who are going through it. I'm feeling a bit emotional already. So I thought that I would talk about one of the major positives that I have found since separating. There aren't many, in fact, I think this is the only one because this isn't a situation I want to be in. I don't want to be separated. I don't want my family to be broken up. I don't want to be divorced two years after getting married. I don't want my children to not be with both their parents all the time. Not because there's anything wrong with that at all. If that's other people's situations, I'm not at all saying like that's, it's a bad thing, but it's not the situation that I want to be in at the moment. However, I know that a separation is what we need um, I keep waffling. So yeah, but the positive that I found is that I've really found my independence. Now, I've always been quite an independent person, but I'm the youngest of three. I've got an older brother and an older sister, and I was always the spoiled one. Kind of, I guess I just got my own way a lot. I started working when I was like 14, 15 as a waitress, but not so that I could afford things, more for like responsibility and a little bit of extra money for myself, but my parents were very much the ones that, you know, you know, she's worked hard and saved up this much money, so I'll wig her this much as a reward. So it's not ever that I really needed to work, I just kind of, I was rewarded for working. But then I moved out and I went to university and I've worked, I've always worked since then, I worked really hard and I've lived out on my own and kind of done things on my own. Obviously my parents have been amazing and have helped me out so much. And then when I did meet Pete, and because I fell pregnant when we lived in Dubai and we moved home, I thought at three months pregnant no one is going to give me a job because I wouldn't be entitled to maternity leave and no one's going to want to hire someone who in six months time is going to be off for like nine months at least. So I was in a very fortunate position whereby my husband said you know just take the time have a hobby enjoy yourself and when baby's older then you can get a job. That hobby turned out to be my blog which turned out to be a full-time career. So I have spent the last what would it be four and a half years um, building this and you know, people watch these videos and I think they think like, oh, it's nothing, it's not a job, but it is. <laughs> it's a full-time job, it gives me a full-time wage. But yeah, anyway, so I, I was always in a situation whereby my husband paid the rent, the bills, everything. I stayed at home, I looked after the children, which is a full-time job. <laughs> Don't care what anyone says, if you are a stay-at-home mum, comment below, <laughs> like, please agree with me. It is a full-time job, it is exhausting, and on top of that, I was doing my blog, obviously, as a hobby at first, and then 
becoming a job and it was a full-time thing. I, you know, even now I'm a full-time stay-at-home mum, but I'm also a full-time vlogger and YouTuber. I put in a good 30 hours a week. You know, when the boys go to bed, I pretty much work from seven to about midnight. Recently, not so much because with the separation, I've been a little bit emotional in the evenings. Um, and then I have all day on a Friday, nine to four, when both boys are at preschool and nursery, and then nap times as well. And I feel like I keep digressing and I've gone away from what I was saying. But that was that was our dynamic. My husband did everything like that, and I looked after the children. Any money that I earned would go towards like our holidays, or it would pay for you know food shopping, the children's nursery fees. I did contribute, but all stuff like sky and gas and electric and all of that I didn't have a clue about. So when we did separate it was a bit of a harsh reality because I suddenly had to take over everything. Very quickly there wasn't like a transition of let's change bank details it was more of a this hasn't been paid I need to pay it kind of situation. So it was a real kind of oh my goodness am I going to be able to afford to live in our house? Am I going to be able to afford the bills? I don't even know who we need to pay. You know I sat down and I wrote council tax, rent, gas and electric, sky, water, and I thought, is that it? Is there other things? Like, I don't know. I was just quite clueless. But now I've taken over everything. I know how much the rent is, which is quite handy because I'm the one paying it. All of the bills. I've even managed to get like my Sky bill down because I called them up and I was like, why is it this much? What are we paying for? And I managed to work that out. And I've got all of my outgoings going out in one day. And I, I've got this whole thing written down. I know exactly how much comes in minimum every month and I know exactly how much goes out and I know exactly how much I need to earn each month to be able to pay for all of my outgoings and then how much I need to then be able to save some money and to be able to have a good life. But yeah, I, even though it's not, it's not a fun thing, it's not something that I would say to someone like, you're gonna be able to pay the rent now and you're gonna be able to organize all of those bills on top of everything else that you're doing. That's not what I'm saying. It's a very nice feeling knowing that I now know everything. I'm not in the dark, I'm not, clueless about things it's on me I've got everything written down and I always kind of had that fear what if something would happen to Pete I wouldn't have a clue who we need to pay and when and how much or anything like that and it's, it's a nice feeling of control now another way that I feel more independent as well is that I haven't got anyone to fall back on when Jensen is waking up three times in the night, which he did the other night. He doesn't normally. Situations like that, but hurt his leg the other day and I had to call the ambulance. He was absolutely fine. They didn't end up coming because I managed to sort him out before. Things like that, it's on me. You know, I need to make the snappy decisions. You know, if we do run out of milk, I can't just say, oh, can you get milk on the way home? I have to make sure that we're always stocked up with milk, always stocked up with nappies. The other night, when he did wake up three times, I did run out of milk and I really panicked, but luckily in the morning, our plumber was coming around and he did give me some milk. But up until then, you know, I've done everything myself. I now do all of the cooking myself, whereas before it was quite split. Pete did do a lot of cooking. Um, we did have our lady who used to come in and clean. I now do that. So <laughs> I don't feel like I'm really selling it to you. This isn't like, what I'm trying to say is, I feel very proud of myself because I've become very independent. I now do the job of two parents. You know, Pete is still very much in their lives. He still has them at his new house. But when I'm here, I'm still a full-time mum. I'm still working the same amount of hours, but I have taken over his roles in the financial department, as well as the kind of the extra helping hand that you have there, you know, the person to help you to do bath time and bedtime and to, you know, take it in turns for the night feeds and to cook and clean and to deal with tantrums. Like I am now doing the emotional, physical, financial, everything job of two people, plus a lady who's clean, so that's like three people by myself. And I am so proud of myself for that. And I feel so independent. I feel like a bit of a Beyonce, independent woman. That is a Beyonce song, isn't it? Independent ladies, I don't know. But you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just really, really proud of myself. And that is something that I just feel so positively about because I know now, whatever the situation may be, if I am on my own forever, if we manage to resolve our marriage, if I'm married to someone else, whatever the situation is, I know that I can handle anything. I know that I don't need to rely on someone else to do the bills, to pay for things, to help me with my children. I know that I can do that all myself. Yes, it is hard work. It is tiring, it's emotional. There are times where I think, I just want someone to run me a bath. I'm getting emotional now. Yeah, there are times where I do just want to say to someone, can you get some milk on the way home? Or can you get a takeaway tonight? I can't be bothered to cook. Or can you do bedtime tonight? Or for someone just to say, oh, do you know what? You've obviously had a stressful day. I ran you a bath upstairs, which I used to get quite a lot and that was lovely. Um, so there are moments like that where I'm just like, oh, it is tough, but I know that I can do it. And if I am in this situation forever, I'm handling it, I'm fine. I'm not sat here worried, you know, how am I gonna cope financially? How am I gonna cope emotionally? How am I gonna handle two kids? How am I gonna do this? Because I know I can, because I'm doing it now. And 
you know, if I were to meet someone else or our marriage were to rekindle or anything like that, then at least I would always know, like, I don't need anyone else. That's it, that is kind of my main thing. Obviously, I have an amazing tribe, I have a village around me, I have my parents, my friends, family, I have so many people who help me, but ultimately, I can do this. And if you are in the same situation, so can you. I know everyone's situations are different, I'm very fortunate that financially, I am secure and that I do earn enough, you know, obviously there's no security in it, you know, I could get no YouTube work and blog work and social media work as of next month, you know, it could all be cut short, but then I would just go and get a job. But yeah, just know that whatever your situation is, there's always a way around it, there's always a way to work it out, and you can do this, because, you know, this is what we're here for, we're here to be strong, independent women, so... Yes, <laughs> I feel like that was a little bit waffly, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not kind of, I feel like I'm kind of saying like, this has happened, but I'm not telling you anything about it. And that's not the case at all. There's nothing to hide, but I just, at the same time, it is our personal life. And um, but if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I do kind of talk more about, more like how I'm feeling. But yeah, anyway, this is a positive. I hope to be able to do more videos on the positive things and how to get through them and, and stuff like that, rather than like, I'm miserable and I'm alone, but we shall see. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Please do give this a big fat thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me know if you're in a similar situation, positives you have found, or, you know, if you just want to chit chat, then let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.